Is this a great day? Well, thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. They didn't even say that in my remarks, but I knew that. Okay. It's a great day. <laughs> thank you, President Biden, for inviting us to the White House. Thank you, Speaker Pelosi and Secretary Raimondo, and thanks to all my great Senate colleagues who are here today as well. Well, what a six weeks it has been for the Senate. The incredible Inflation Reduction Act, the PACT Act, gun reform, NATO, and one of the most important things that we have done for America in years, if not decades, chips and science. For the last... ...and how vital it is to support high-tech manufacturing right here in the United States of America. Please join me in welcoming Joshua Aviv. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it is probably 120 degrees on stage and probably 95 where you guys are at. So I'm going to make it quick because we're the last ones up here. So my name is Josh Aviv. I was born here in D.C. So being part of this ceremony, yeah, yeah. Being part of this ceremony feels like a homecoming to me. My grandfather was the first entrepreneur that I ever met. He ran a freight logistics company for over 20 years, shuttling airplane parts between Dulles and National Airport. Funny story, I would used to try and call out sick so I could ride with him because for lunch he would always give me a Snickers bar and it was always the king size. <laughs> he instilled in me a drive and work you ethic that led me to launch my own company. Hey, Shalom, my name Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rokakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that rule and teach world. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. There was in the gospel of God, lifting up the standard of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is the priest, Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson through the spirit. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize this was a 25 minute video, but you got this Uncle Tom nigga. This super sambo up here cooning for Joe Beasy. Talking about his father bought him, grandfather bought him a Snickers bar. You niggas got to be destroyed, man, all right? But long story short, uh, they were going into this technology. Now, look, peep this, right? Now it says, Biden signed CHIPS and Science Act to stimulate U.S. semiconductor production. Now, when you go through this video, they're basically talking about new technology, okay? Technology that powers smartphones, different batteries, cells, etc. Now, hey, this is it, man. Okay. This can be the ultimate catalyst to, to make the MOTB actually legal and mandated. Okay, because uh they was talking about this about a month ago, but apparently he signed it, but it's been like in talks for like over a year now. But hey, this is it, man. Okay, through the spirit, this is possibly can be the the start of the the digital currency coming into fruition finally okay and us getting the hell out of here now of course there may be some different um variables that comes with this okay you know there's a lot of workarounds and so forth uh not necessarily stating that this is the motb but the fact that it's dealing with uh semiconductor production okay so let's look up semiconductor real quick it says here, semiconductor material has an electrical conductivity value facing falling between that of a conductor such as a metallic copper uh -oh, and an insulator such as a glass. The MOTB, because when you look at the copper head or if you look at what the MOTB is conducted of, okay, it's similar to this. It says it relatively falls as temperature rises. Metals have been in the opposite way conducting properties may be altering in useful ways by introducing impurities into crystal structure <laughs> when two different dope regions exist in the same crystal a semiconductor junction is created all right so let's see something here 
All right, so let's look up the. All right, let me ship. And let's see what it is. Okay, so it says radio frequency identification uses electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic fields, to automatically identify and track tags attached to objects. Um, it says when triggered by electromagnetic, uh, intro. What is that? Intrigation pulse from nearby the reader device. The tag transmits di digital data, usually identifying inventory number back reader. Okay. Uh, let's look here and see designs, problems and concerns. No, because it's mainly of the same. They basically tell you without telling you, man. All right, design. Yep, it says two-way radio transmitter receivers that intrigators that read send signals to tag in response. Mm. Alrighty. Oh shit! So it says that. The, the you know what is an RFID transporter and is composed of silicon. It says the antenna can be made of etched copper, aluminum, and conductive link. While the you know what and antenna are typically put on a sub a substrate that is a pit pet or paper. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. So going back here. Uh so semiconductor. Look it up again. It says an electrical conductivity value falling between that of a conductor such as metallic copper or insulator such as glass <laughs> sounds familiar right so anyway this is what this devil is conjuring up and all you guys out there that's ever doubted okay the apostles and brothers like myself and other brothers man hey let this be a slap in the face because we knew through the spirit that this will come it says, and that's how you know we at the end. Our Lord is getting ready to come and get us, man. Lord, where we're found worthy. But it says, President Joe Biden on Tuesday signed a $280 billion bipartisan bill to boost domestic high-tech manufacturing, okay, technology. Okay, like software, which means, uh, or, or micro, meaning small, okay, small software. Uh, it says, part of the administration's push to boost U.S. competitive over China. It says, flanked by the scores of lawmakers, union officials, local politicians, and, and business leaders, Biden fetched the legislation, a core part of his economic agenda, uh oh, economic, right? Uh, agenda that will incentivize investments in the American semiconductor industry in an effort to ease U.S. reliance on overseas supplies, chains for critical cutting edge goods, okay? Basically tracking goods. Okay, that's why he said here, oversee supply chains for critical cutting edge goods, meaning they can track this shit. Okay, so you got to read between the lines. When Esau put things out there, you have to read between the lines, man. It says the future of the you know what industry is going to be made in America. Biden said in a sweltering Rose Garden ceremony Tuesday, referring to the diminutive device that powers everything from smartphones. Uh oh, <laughs> smartphones, because these things are encapsulated in these smartphones, man. Like a brother showed me over the weekend that when he shuts his phone down, it can still track him. Like you notice that these newer phones, they don't have uh, removable battery packs anymore. Why is that? Okay, because basically your phone is still active. Even when it's turned off, they can still locate your, uh, your location. They show you that they were planning this all along. Okay, but it says Tuesday from a diminutive device that powers everything from smartphones to computers to automobiles. Okay, came out years ago in China that they had... One of the first, uh, you know what, toll freeze that basically they had a tag that can identify your car being fitted with this particular technology. Uh, it says the legislation set aside 52 billion specifically to bolster the U.S. computer, you know what, sector. So here we go. It says the bill has been finally more than a year in the making, but finally clear both chambers of Congress late last month. Oh, shit. Just a few weeks ago, we have significant bipartisan bipartisan measure margin. Salakia. It says the Senate passed it 64 to 33 with the 17 GOP senators supporting it. And remember, Biden said that you will rule on this before he told Justice Roberts. He said you will rule whether this can be put in humans before your tenure are over. It came right from the devil's mouth. OK, now, look, he's straight up telling you, man. OK, he's straight up telling you, man. 
So it says here, while the House quickly followed suits with a 243-187 vote that included a 24-hour House Republicans in favor even though party leaders began urging their ranks to vote against it after Democrats advanced a separate sweeping bill focused on climate and health care. It says the White House sought Tuesday to begin selling the immediate impacts of the semiconductor measure, noting that the micron, okay, micron, which means small, okay, okay, like micro, micron, small, micron of what's 40 billion in, in, in uh, U.S. manufacturing, okay. Yep, the thousand part of a millimeter, right? Means small. Micron means small. Okay, it says a unit of a length equal to one millionth of a millimeter. A micrometer means small, okay? Micro CHIP, small, okay? Small software. Microsoft, small software, man. Okay, a leading US, you know what, manufacturer would announce 40 billion plans to boost domestic production of memory chips. While the Qualcomm and Global Foundries will unveil the 4.2 billion expansion of an upstate New York chip plant. Makes sense, right? It will be starting in uh, what they call the Big Apple. Okay, upstate the Empire State because everything is passed down, even though it's passed through legislations through D.C., okay, and Britain, etc. Hey, New York City is pretty much one of the most popular cities in the world. That's like the capital of Babylon, believe it or not. OK, it says the administration have also repeatedly portrayed this legislation as a critical component in countering the influence of the rising China to ensure the U.S. can maintain a competitive edge against Beijing, particularly in semiconductor manufacturing. And remember, um, China, they have what they call the social credit score. So, hey, brothers, we getting ready to get the hell up out of here. Call all your how about Shimi Habashai. This is this is breaking news, man. OK, it says administration officials have held multiple briefings for lawmakers to sketch out the national security implica implications of this bill. And Biden noted during his remarks Tuesday that the Chinese government had lobbied U.S. businesses against their legislation. It says the Chips and Science Act is going to inspire a whole new generation of Americans to answer that question. What's next? Biden said Tuesday during a signing ceremony. Decades from now, you ain't got decades, bro. Many people will look back at this week and all we passed and all we moved on that we met the moment of this infection point in history, inflection point of history. And you got to understand this, too, because they know that this dollar is getting ready to go under. They're getting ready to pull a plug on a dollar. So with this, they probably already got these things already in manufacture. OK, they probably just telling the people they passed the bill, but they've been creating these particular things for a long time, man. OK, like you had a, a particular company back in Wisconsin, man, that they was able to like use these particular devices to get food out of vending machines and et cetera. They've been planning this, man. OK, this has been in the working for ages, but now it's going to come to fruition and very quickly. It says Tuesday's ceremony is one of several public events Biden has scheduled since recovering from the you know what, including a visit to flood ravaged Kentucky on Monday and another signing event Wednesday for legislation aiding veterans who have suffered from toxic barn pits. But Biden appeared to be dealing with some residual symptoms, coughing heavily during times X, Y, Z, all right? But nonetheless, man, this is here. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Barak man. All right, we getting ready to get up out of here because if this is what we think it means, then, hey, they getting ready to get the ball rolling because he ain't got that much time. And his video actually in itself, it actually goes into it, but this is a 22-minute video. So, Lord's will, I post the link of this article when i'm done uploading and you brothers can go back and do your follow-ups and whatever you deem you need to do through the spirit all right so this is the book of isaiah 10 and 1 it says water them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed okay a, a decree is a law okay and they're prescribing certain things and items based on their new world order okay because remember the georgia guy stones were just taken down at the end alleged alleged explosion about a month ago okay a few weeks and some change i'll say that you see now they're basically telling you like well look we got to get this thing up and moving chariot sightings at an all-time high man you got all types of inclement weather you got world war three on the brink of uh, uh popping off global and nuclear and we've always stated that by the time this is passed we're going to be in world war three but it's not going to be uh nuclear until this is passed because what happens when the American economy collapses is going to dictate the fall of these other empires and that's going to cause them to go to war behind the collapse of this U.S. dollar, which is done on purpose, by the way. All right. But it says here, 
unrighteous decrees, man. Okay? So, hey. Call hello. How about you? How about you, brothers, man? All right? This this is a good this is a, a good thing, you know? After a very challenging day, hey, this is good news. The water, you how about you? How about you? All right? So, this is the book of uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says, And when this come to pass, lo, it will come, then they should know that a prophet had been among them. And the men of the Lord have been speaking on these things, man, from the apostles on down. They've been prophesying about this, okay, us in the same stead. You know, like the Lord said that we enter into to other men's labors, man. Hey, we came in speaking the same things. Like the scriptures say, you speak the same things. Be a one spirit, one mind, one body, okay? And this is, hey, it's coming to pass. So anyway, we're going to bring this precept out and we're going to shut it down. This is the book of Revelation 13. And I'm going to start at 15. It says he had power. To give life into the image of the beast, okay? The image is everything around you that's speaking from your smartphones to the molecular structure of this society. Everything you're perpetuating now in your daily lives is basically the image of this beast, man, okay? So it says here, uh, image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And how do you worship the image of the beast? First and foremost, by being in cahoots and bowing down to the society. But ultimately, when you take this MOTV, that's going to be the ultimate bowing down to this B system, okay? Because you're giving your allegiance and your alliance over to Satan, man, okay? Esau, Edom. You see, and the Most High can't do nothing with you after that. Why? Because, hey, that's adultery, okay? Spiritual adultery. That penalty for adultery is death. So when you get fitted with this particular tag... The Most High can't do nothing for you, but destroy you, man. Okay, that's the ultimate vote of betrayal. All because you thought the grass was greener on the other side. Okay, like when you look at our story as the Hebrew Israelites, it's based on a love relationship between us and the Most High. It's basically a real story of a man of a woman that was in love. The woman went off, committed adultery because she thought things were better. And the man accepted her back, but put her through hell in order for her to make her, make, basically call herself or, or to make herself worthy again. He put her through hell. Like, if you got a woman you cared about so much and she's committed adultery on you, you may want to knock that fucking bitch's head off, man. And you may do it, you know, and beat the hell out of her. But your love is so fervent for her to the point you're going to accept her back, but you're going to put her through hell, okay? She's going to have to prove herself, okay? Getting down on her hands and knees. She's literally going to have to scrub the toilets, man, that you didn't deplicate it on, <laughs> all right? And I'm just being like that because when you look at the story of King David... In, in the Most High, the King David represents the story of Israel because what happened? Hey, when he committed adultery, killed Uriah the Hittite, okay, and uh, put up and snatched up Bathsheba, man. Hey, that was the ultimate form of, of David committing adultery. Israel committed adultery against the Most High. And the Most High punished David for that. But, hey, ultimately he had mercy on him. You see, he's going to have mercy on us. So this is the ultimate story. So if you get fitted with this tag, hey, there's no more forgiveness. You... You've done it again. Now, you know, like my man say, fool me once. What my man J. Cole say? I think he said, fool me what once. Shame shame on me, but fool me twice, nigga. Shame on you, roughly paraphrasing it. You know? It's like, it's like okay, I gave you another chance, and you fucked up again. You see? And it says here, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive the M-A-R-K in their right hand or, or in their foreheads, okay? And we know this is the Karagma. And it says here, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the Karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six score three score and six, okay? Now remember, Biden actually said that. He said before your tenure is over, you're going to rule whether this is put in people. See, they're doing it sub to, but... They're going to bring it out in a time of need and they're going to basically, they're going to gradualize you into this type of thinking. Okay. So, hey, brothers, we ain't got that much longer. So with that, I'm going to shut down all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.